Hello everyone, Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com and today I have a short little video for you about a little PayPal quirk and how we are going to handle it. So what I'm seeing with various clients is that sometimes clients are transferring money from PayPal to their checking account and they're choosing the option to have the money arrive quickly in their checking account and that option comes with a fee. So the amount of the transfer from PayPal to checking is different. So we can't just simply hit the transfer from PayPal to checking and have it work like I show you how to do in my other PayPal video. You can see the card for that in the corner. So here is the workaround that I'm doing and this workaround even comes with a little quirk itself. So watch until the end because even after you do it once, you have to kind of go back in and do it again. You'll understand what I mean in just a minute. So here's our example. We have $265.37 is what was withdrawn from the PayPal account. However, only 261.39 arrived in the bank account, in the checking account, and the difference is due to a fee. So we're gonna go back to the PayPal side. We are going to select our transaction and we are going to split it. So for the split, we are first going to select the bank account where the transfer was going to, so our checking account. And we're gonna put in the amount that arrived in checking. And that's the amount that we saw as the deposit on the checking side. So now what we're gonna do, the difference is the fee. So we're gonna actually record that expense right here. I'm using a PayPal fees account. You could use bank charges and fees, that would be fine. So the difference between what left PayPal, so that's that original amount here, 265.37 left the PayPal account, but only 261.39 arrived in checking. The difference is 398, which we're gonna record as a fee. So we're gonna go ahead and apply and accept that. So we've taken care of that categorization on the PayPal side. And now let's go to checking and we have our match. So everything looks good, looks like our little workaround worked. But what I am finding is for some reason the workaround doesn't quite work the first time. So go ahead and on the match, instead of just hitting match, hit the blue expense link to bring up the transaction. And look right here. Instead of putting the second line to PayPal fees, like I told QuickBooks to do, it's putting it to the same bank account. And that is not even the description that we want. So once again, I am going to choose PayPal fees for that second line and hit save and close. Now we'll go ahead and hit match. And let's double check that in our register, everything is okay. Okay, so in our register, this is the transaction, the 261.39, and that is showing up as the deposit in the checking register. So that's exactly what we want. If we had just matched it, and this is what I found just through trial and error when I did it this way myself the first time, I came here to the register, and the 261.39 was here, but the fee was also showing up here, the $3 fee. And of course that amount did not have the green box and the C because it didn't come from the bank feed and it was an error. So that's where I realized that QuickBooks was changing what I had, what I had entered originally and I needed to still adjust it again. But it seems like once you do the second adjustment, it does work out fine. So just take the time to do that extra step. Okay, that's all I have for you today. For other kind of quirks with PayPal and QuickBooks and all of that, check out my other videos. If this has been helpful to you, I would really appreciate your like and your subscribe. Have a great day.